Good morning, everyone. I'm Alice Jones, and I'm Vice President of North Bay Community Association, and I am here as a taxpayer. I am a retired tax auditor. I've worked as a tax auditor for over 20 years, and I've been in the accounting field for probably over 30 years. Yes, I am 60 years old, and I'm, I'm very proud to say that, and I've lived through a lot of things that this young lady has just spoken about. But I'm not here as an advocate for an African American to serve on the county commissioner. I am here as an advocate for someone to truly represent me in my district. And with that in mind, here is my resolution to what's been presented here this morning. I am proposing a resolution to request implementation of district-based voting in Fayette County, Georgia, and for other purposes. <clears throat> this resolution reads as, whereas the Fayette County Commissioners are in the process of redrawing the county's militia lines to balance the population among the districts while conserving an at-large voting. And, whereas the at-large voting process in Fayette County has resulted in a fundamentally unfair system for electing district representatives in that the choice of representation of such district is constrained by the vote, votes of residents of other districts. And whereas, historically, areas of Fayette County which are in closer proximity to neighboring urban communities have been neglected for road and street improvements, green space acquisition, recreation space, and other services until significant demands for service are made. And whereas greater percentage of Fayette County revenue is derived from parts of the county where fewer services are rendered. And whereas the delivery of fewer services and imposition of increased taxes in an at-large voting environment is emblematic of taxation without representation. And whereas citizens of Fayette County desire to have representatives who can be held accountable for representing and addressing the needs and concerns affecting their constituent communities. And whereas it becomes cost prohibitive for candidates with lesser financial, can, lesser financial means to campaign countywide in elections. Now therefore be it resolved that citizens of Fayette County request the redistricting plan designed to implement a balance in population among the three voting districts of Fayette County be amended to reflect representation accountable to its constituents. Be it further resolved that the citizens of Fayette County re request <coughs> that the redistricting plan to amend with legislators, amended with legislation forwarded to the Georgia House of Representatives to create a district-based voting plan and schedule for implementation. Be it further resolved that the aforesaid, aforesaid district-based <coughs> voting plan shall restrict eligibility for election to represent a district to those persons who are residents of the district not for not less than one year prior to the date of the election. Be it further resolved that the aforesaid district-based voting plan shall restrict the right to cast a vote for a particular district representative to be eligible to the eligible electors whose resident is in the boundaries of that district. And be it finally resolved that the establishment of a district-based voting by the Fayette County Board of Commissioners shall be implemented to avoid a costly litigation to defend the unjust fair failure of representation resultant of the at-large voting structure currently in place in Fayette County. And I want to say that listening to everything that's being said here and you know dividing line militia lines and everything actually what you're doing is doing exactly what's here in history redrawing just moving populations and the 2000 census does not give us clearly the current population in Fayette County as I see just in the area that I live the growth is tremendous so we need to to look futuristic as I presented to uh, Jack on, on Saturday at our meeting. We need to look futuristic for this county and not just our little own selfish modes or, or what we are here, you know, to represent and being uh, concerned about being uh, reelected, but futuristic. And I appreciate 
Jack for coming to us and talking to us. And he saw the dissension in a lot of our people in the northern part of the county and them not saying that I'm truly represented. A, a, a clear depiction of that is the neglect to actually properly fund a park in our part of the county. And I heard some, some of the representatives say, well, why do they need bathrooms? Well, this is today. What has happened with some of the parks that's in existence and them not having restrooms? I mean, this is deplorable. And these things have not been addressed by them taking monies away from our park in the northern end. When I say our park, I'm talking about all of Fayette County. With them taking monies away from that park and putting into other parks for them to have uh, uh, lights on the ball field and that kind of thing and not addressing the, the, the restroom facilities, that's something that is beyond me. But my problem is that we need true representation and I am proposing futuristically a five single member district with five commissioners and two at large commissioners. That is my proposal today and I'll present this to our uh, clerk. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.